All right, so I got a work order for a vibrating noise coming out of the chill, uh, chiller plant. Uh, these are two York chillers here. I got their YMC squared chillers. So these have the magnetic bearings in them. Um, you can see a little graphic there, the magnetic bearings, so they don't use uh, oil bearings for the impeller shaft. Yeah, so there's one chill water pump for this whole plant, so I think that's where the noise is coming from. Let's go check it out. I think that's our noise. Um, these have the Duraplex couplings in them, so let's shut this off and check it out. Quiet. This pump is not that old, maybe a year or so. They changed the whole uh, motor, pump, sled, everything got swapped out, but um, it was recently re insulated. And uh, so there's our coupling. Yep, there's a tear in it right there. So that's probably causing our vibration. They're lucky it didn't rip off completely. These things can tolerate, I think for this size, maybe a quarter inch out of alignment, but we'll check all that and pull this apart. I've got a new coupling to put on here. And uh, all right, this is how it's done. All right, so power's off. It's not gonna restart. And uh, basically just take these bolts off. It's in two halves. I've got a new coupling to put on there. So. That wasn't too bad. They were a little bit tight. But boy, are these uh, ends, these hubs are hot. I'm going to show you. So that vibration was definitely causing some heat. So I went ahead and marked where the split was on the other coupling so I can kind of put them back the same way. Let's see how hot she is. say it's a little warm this side not so much but that's the chill water pump housing right there and the bearing housing so, yeah definitely generating some heat there with that mm, motor warm all right let me get started on putting the new coupling back I'm gonna first check and see how far off we are here if we are on alignment all right so I know they say uh, this size you can have like a 0.28 of an inch uh, difference, but I can tell you there's a little gap there. If you can see that. And it's off more on the pump side there. So definitely appears like our motors sitting a little high and it does have shims so I'm probably gonna have to reshim this motor to bring that down closer and uh, let's see how our side to side is Just a hair off. Yeah, a little, a little off on side to side. All right, so just for reference, um, I've got these shims in the truck, and fortunately, I'll have to find out if these things are marked 
the sides, but they're not imprinted on them. But basically that orange shim is the gap difference. So we'll have to take that in consideration when pulling these shims out and get that to the right height. So I've got everything marked here, even though I'm gonna have to probably kick the motor shaft end over just a hair and um, just for reference so when I get taking this apart I'll have a, a reference where I started from so all right let's break this motor loose starting one side at a time this is my less than scientific method of uh, finding out the difference so I took two shims here we're still there's just a just a slight difference so if I put another orange one there um, all right so definitely sitting level at that point pretty much match so I'm thinking just uh, removing that one we're gonna place this in there to try and uh, we'll see what our height is once I put those in all right so I got the new shims in motors not tightened down yet but you can see it's definitely closed up that gap um, we're just barely higher so we'll see what happens when we tighten her down and let me check the side here all right yeah, definitely need to kick her over a little bit all right so I got that kicked over a little our uh, measurements still seem to be pretty consistent all the way around Definitely improved our side to side. And I haven't tightened down yet, but I'm getting ready to. So, so I think uh, probably gonna end up right where we want it. All right, got the motor tightened back down. You can see definitely a lot straighter. And our side to side is. Uh, definitely improved so with this next coupling will have a longer life let's hope so, all right let me get that reinstalled all right so we got our new coupling here this is a Duraflex 30 is the size so got new bolts with some uh, thread lock on them so let's get it installed Everybody's accounted for. Everybody's got their seatbelts on. We're going to uh, fire this thing back up. Definitely sounds better from here. Less vibrato. So, gotta run for a minute and then I'll uh, fire these chillers back up. Uh, so far, so good. Let's give them some cooling.
look like pretty cool machines here. water pump coupling replacement on these uh, chillers. That was a 60 horse chill water pump. Uh, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, drop some comments down below. Uh, I did the best I could lining that thing, but uh, it's definitely better than I found it. And uh, we're back in the cool. Alright, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you like the videos, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Slowly but surely, we're dropping.